All right, you guys, one last little quick video here to show you that new DeWalt case. You can see where we're at in the store over by all the bit sets. And right here is the new case. So let's grab one of these. Let's take it over here where we've got some room and we're gonna take a look at this thing and see what's going on. Cause this is a pretty nice case. So right here, we've got the older version. I've done a video on that showing you the compartments. Everything locks up nice, got a good lid. You can move these around, you know, kind of customize it the way you want it. So that is a very nice box for $6.98. Definitely recommend that. But this is the brand new one that just hit the shelf the other day. And it is also $6.98. I had them double check that price because it seems like it would be more than that. This you can leave on there or it has some break off tabs. So most of us are just going to break that off there and get rid of that. But if this is going to be hanging up in your shop on your pegboard, then that gives you a way to do that. But your latches are going to be over here on this side. This is part of DeWalt's new tough case system. So these boxes actually interlock together so you can stack them and lock them in place. So that's pretty nice. And then you've got your good clear lid, nice and tough. And then the inside here, you can see the layout. These all come out, so you can adjust this however you want it. You can make them narrow or wide, however you want that to be. And then you can also remove all those. They fit in there pretty good. I don't think stuff's going to be moving around. You could have two compartments, or this piece actually comes out of the middle. And you can see, you know, that you might be able to use it like that. If you have one particular thing that you want to protect that's going to take up that kind of space, you can put it in there and lock it up. Now, this is not waterproof. There's no rubber gaskets or anything like that here. We're just talking about a case to protect something. And you can see the thickness. Let's see if we can put those side by side so you can see the difference in the two. Let's see, we'll lock that one back up. Can't do it one handed. Okay, hang on, give me a second. And my phone won't pause. So, ah, there. Okay. All right. So, you can see the size difference there and the thickness. This one is pretty slim, very lightweight, but well made. And it's going to be very modular. You, you can see all the different stuff that you can do with this. So you could have one whole case, two, or you just start putting in all your little dividers and just customize this thing and set it up however you want it. So let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six dividers to set this up however you want it. So anyway, guys, that is the new case. Let's see if we can see a number on that thing. I don't know if that's the Waltz number or not. That says an N733460, I believe. But I don't really know that that's, oh, there's the Waltz number right there. There we go. It's always a DW. So DWAN2190. That is it, the new tough case system. See how they lock in? So that's definitely something you guys might want to check out. That's going to be a nice new case. That's going to be thin enough to where it will fit in a lot of the bigger veto packs, some of the backpacks. I don't know about the smaller one like the MC or the MCT and some of the newer packs that just came out. But definitely in the backpacks, that's going to be able to fit in there. And I would imagine if I had to guess, a lot of tablets will probably fit in this if you want to take these modular pieces out put a tablet in there and lock it up that would give a lot of protection to the tablet just an idea there 
So anyway, that's, that's two really good cases. You can't go wrong with either one of these. This one's got the double sides. That one's just going to be one. So anyway, guys, just wanted to show you the new DeWalt case. Maybe I'm the first guy with a video on this thing. There's the number. All right, you guys. Everybody have a Merry Christmas, and I will catch you next time.